This is your host, Kazar Spell, and I'm joined today with a good co-host of mine who will introduce himself right now. Welcome back, one and all. This is Artman Advanced. And we're going to beat each other up. In Mega Man X. Okay, if we have to. So we were we weren't uh, we weren't sure how we were going to do a collab before. We wanted to do a little bit of an extra thing for the Tricks of the Trade, a group we're both a part of. If you are not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe now. It does help the channel, helps us out. You have really no idea how much it helps. We enjoy seeing new faces in the Discord all the time and love seeing you come to our streams. And if you simply want to leave a comment to let us know how we're doing, feel free to do one of those as well. You know, anything is game. If you want to help us, we'll help you by giving you content! And by that I mean we're going to be playing some Mega Man X today, racing it to be specific. Neither one of us have raced this game before, none of us have attempted a speedrun, we know none of the tricks! The only trick I know is the one everybody knows, how to get Haruken. <laughs> yeah, and that's what the goal is of this. We're going to both try to 100% the game. Uh, anything goes beyond that. But n I don't believe either of us know skips. Or if you do, and you've been secretly holding out on me, feel free to. But that's enough of an intro. What do you say we actually get started with this? I'm ready when you are. Well, I'm not ready. My controller disconnected. All right, I'm back from the, the land of scuff. Are you ready now? Yep. All right, in three, two, one, and another scuff later. Oh my god, I am so ready to unleash my rage about this. But no, I. you know what? I am... Uh, <laughs> nope, retake, retake, retake. Hold on. Okay, so that is another dose of scuff that just happened. I don't know how I'm going to layer this in post, but now we're ready. My Nothing was working on my end. Hopefully it's working before. I love it that before this began, you were the one who was having all the issues. And then as soon as we hit start, I'm the one who has all the issues. <laughs> Are you ready to go now? Yep, I'm uh, ready on game start. Okay, three, two... Sorry. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Okay, hopefully this works now. Yes, I can use the D-pad. My, my oh, controller yeah. was not allowing me to use that at first. Dora, Dora, uh... No, it's Daka Daka. What are you saying, Art Man? It's not Dora Dora, it's Daka Daka. Dora Dora the Explorer? <laughs> you got, I you think got. I was trying to combine uh, Aura and Daka. But yeah, Highway! Yep. So, what is your history with Mega Man X? I mean, both of us have played this before. Like, we're both very familiar with it. Okay, so, as far back as I can remember, I can't give specific ages, but I have an uncle on my father's side who is like two years older than me, and we would always go to my grandmother and grandfather's house during Thanksgiving and sometimes during summer break, and he had a Super Nintendo back when I would be, I don't know, around four or five and that was the first time I ever remember playing Mega Man X I fell in love with the series and then when I was around uh, end of elementary beginning of middle I have no idea how but I got my hands on a cartridge of Mega Man 3 but that is not relevant right now <laughs> but regardless yeah I played I got into the Mega Man series through my uncle that's awesome and Yep. Okay, so my history is that uh, I basically uh, had a babysitter who had a Super Nintendo just kind of in the corner, and I, I was just like always in a rapture to play it. <laughs> and one of the games was Mega Man X. I also played a bit of X4 uh, on the PlayStation. Cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm, like, focusing a little. <laughs> Riding on cars! Riding on cars! <laughs> I 
Uh, one little tidbit about these kind of games is I kind of always thought of them in RPG terms. Like, the regular buster shots always did one HP, the first charge did two, and the full charge did three. I don't know why. It just felt right. It was quantifiable. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, when uh, Mega Man X came out, I didn't even know what an RPG was. <laughs> Fair enough. Dang, what was our first RPG? Questions for later. Why is that a question for later? I don't know, because we're focused on this game right now. Well, we could or... I mean, we're going to be playing this for the next hour. What was your first RPG? Oh, I'm going to have to unpack that. So I will get back to... Legitimately, I will get back to you on that when that memory does come back to me. I mean, you ready for uh, mine? Yeah, go for it. I mean, my, mine is kind of an obvious one, but it was Pokemon Red version. Fair enough. Then that case, I think my first RPG was Yellow version. Really? You played Yellow before, before Red or Blue? Yeah, I actually got it during uh, when I turned seven on Christmas that year. Nice. Uh, it was during a time where my parents were neutral on the franchise. My maternal grandmother got it for me, I think. And my aunt and uncle on my mother's side were... They were into the Christian propaganda about that game, so they <laughs> really didn't care for it, but at the same time, they didn't really try to get it away from me. They just, uh, no, I, like, I had friends who had who dealt with that as well. Yeah, they were just like they didn't want me anything to do with it. So if I brought it up, they didn't join in the conversation. Uh, on that tangent, real quick, a uh, quick aside, I had a friend in my church that I uh, that he and I were in the same Pokemon craze. But then I left some comic books that I had gotten from Walmart at his place and. Uh, his parents had shredded all of his Pokemon cards, and I'm assuming in the same in the same vein they uh, got rid of those books because I never got them back. <laughs> oh my god! Those those kinds of parents ne never got me. Like I never understood them because it's like on one hand I want my kid, and it's just like okay, but why would you shred someone else's kid's stuff? You know. <laughs> Yeah, I think my parents fell out of friendship with his parents after that. I don't I don't think it was specifically because of that, but I think final straw. that was just... I don't know if it was a final straw. I think it was just like one domino in a long chain. Uh, one more sub-tangent and then I'll get off of it, I promise. This one was a me thing, but I also got a different comic book at Walmart for the Super Mario... It was a Super Mario manga that ran in issues of Nintendo Power, and I had gotten a compilation of all of them. And I brought it to, like, my fourth... fourth or fifth grade classroom to share with my students as part of the in-class library. And I think I forgot to take it with me, so as far as I know, that big yellow book is still in that classroom. But hey, I got what I wanted out of it, and uh, it's not like I can't ever find, uh, I can't find access to it online. There we go, I forgot I reset my dash button. I was like, why is this dash button not working? <laughs> I, d I died it. Uh-oh, well, I'm getting close to Chill Penguin. Oh, I died to Chill Penguin, I went in there with one HP left. <laughs> Oh wow, you're fast on the fast track faster than me. Well, I, I am being extraordinarily reckless. <laughs> like I said, I went in there with one HP, and because I, uh, it took me so long to die from him, uh, it set me back. Ah. Well, I'm coming in with half health. Oh, I do remember one trick about this game specifically. Appar
Apparently, dashing does double the strength of your shots. Yep. I know it at least doubles the strength of the weak shot. I'm not sure about the strong ones. Now, are you a weakness order guy, or do you have a route? I'm a weakness order guy. Okay, so we're going to be taking very different routes now. Ah, uh, well, I beat Chill Penguin first try. Very nice. Oh, right, I can skip that scene. I forgot about that. What scene? The, uh, weapon get scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were so enamored, going like, Yay, Mega Man! <laughs> and then you just got... You were just like, Wait, I'm racing! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm at Spark Mandrill now. This is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. The power I just thing? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I just so love the good. energy of it. Floor spark. One thing I wish made it through this game into the later installments is the, uh, ah, what's a good word for it? It's like the a world system where, like, if you beat, uh, uh, beat Storm Eagle before you go to Spark Mandrill, the ship crashes into the power plant and causes rolling blackouts. Yeah. And, like, the floor sparks at the beginning don't uh, actually activate. But the entire world will be blacked out. Like, th there are going to be parts where the power goes out. So, ah. even, though, even though one thing doesn't work, another thing uh, gets harder. Yeah. And, yeah, you're right. That They should do that more. Like, I think they tried to bring it back in X6, but they fumbled it really hard. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, I love that little uh, thing about the uh, roller guys. It's like, if you hit them once, they'll be like, they'll start freaking out. And I died. What'd you die to? Just cliff or... Black? I, uh, landed on top of one of those, uh, turrets. No Goomba stomping in this game. I jumped. <laughs> I tried to jump over an enemy and I just jumped head first into it. Alright. This is going to cost me some time, but hey, I got it first try! Very nice. I don't know what you got, but we're not looking Walk at each other's screens. Ah, uh, sorry. Wall kick into the heart tank. Oh, dang. I, ne I never get that. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I do. Never mind. Sorry, I was thinking of that uh, E tank you'll have to get later. Oh no, you need Boomer Kawanger's weapon for yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ow. Ow. Alright, now for Spark Mandrill. On the one hand, I'm appreciative of this, but on the other hand, I can understand why it's got its own uh, lingo in the series, Spark Mandrill Syndrome. Well, yeah.
<laughs> just all the spark mandrel statues. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to make an adjustment at the end of my run because my inputs are over the minutes of my timer But I'll make sure that the uh, time is displayed properly once we finish. Okay All right next up Armored armadillo I actually got a a soundtrack of this game, but like orchestrated not the right word, but close enough. It's played with actual instruments, and my mom loves the Armored Armadillo arrangement. I mean, it's... It, dude, the Armored Armadillo stage is just so jazzy. It is. <laughs> the only reason... The only reason I bring that up with any amount of significance in my tone is because she normally rolls her eyes at anything video game related. I know what that's like. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't need this. It's the next one I've got to destroy before he destroys the uh, platform. And I think I missed out on the E-Tank. I'm not sure. Well, you, you did go to... Uh... Armored Armadillo. I, if I'm remembering right now... I think the E-Tank is uh, behind the first the, dozer. Yeah. Keep in mind, none yeah. of us have uh, planned this route. We're just kind of having fun. Like, I do remember all where all the secrets are. I just forgot in the moment. And I was just like, go, 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 go. We're racing. Come on. Yes! Got it! I got the heart tank. I'll just have to come back for the E-Tank. Well, I gotta come back for the Hadouken anyway, so... Yeah. That was a close one, though. Usually I'm using Fire Wave or uh, Storm Tornado to get it, but I just got it by jamming on the Buster. Nice. Do you, um, need Armor Armadillo's uh, power in order to get the Hadouken? I, I think so. I forget what the flag is, just the easy way to do it is to get all uh, get nine lives, make sure you have all E-tanks, all weapons, or all sub-tanks. I'm not sure if they have to be filled or not, but... I think they do. And Armored Armadillo is down. Very good. The next one in order, I had no idea what his weakness was until I played Maverick Hunter X on the PSP. Let's see, I Armored could... Armadillo is Launch Octopus, right? Yep. I know a lot of people love the Launch Octopus theme, but personally, I like Bubble Crab theme better. I mean, I, I'm not really comparing future games to, to the group. I can't even, but I will say I don't even know Launch Octopus's theme. Ah, uh, it's really good. It's one of the better themes in the game. None of them are bad, per se, but Launch Octopus is in my, like, top three, top four. Let's see. I'm thinking on it right now. Based on all the tracks in the game, I think my favorites from one to four are Storm Eagle, 
uh, Spark Mandrill, Launch Octopus, and then Sting Chameleon. Okay. Okay, easy fish tank now. The hard one's coming up. I said I wish I was better at Mega Man. <laughs> oh, that was that went by faster than I expected. Okay, not that one. This one. Okay, come on, let me jump off of it. Try this again. All right. Submarine down. My route might not be the most efficient, but it is mine. <laughs> Play the game the way it makes you happy. Yep. This is dangerous. Yes! I stuck the landing. I think so far as my route, I'm gonna clear all the levels first and then do my backtracking. Very nice. Where are you? I hear you. Oh, I was talking about the uh, sea serpent bot, oh. but cool. I thought we were, you know, just just talking as friends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see ya. Do you have a pet peeve when it comes to games like these? Um, excessive knockback that uh, throws you into pits that you literally cannot tro control your own character while it's happening. Fair enough. When I brought that question up, I was thinking more of something that happened in the PlayStation release of X3. And it's the cutscenes that show you all these cool things the main character does and be like, why can't I do that in the game? Yeah, that was definitely during a time where it's just like they uh, they weren't sure what to show players. Oh, that also happens during Mega Man 8 as well. <laughs> Why? What, what specifically? Like, uh, for one, Gutsman throwing a boulder at Mega Man and him just blasting through it to pick up Gutsman. And then there's uh, him throwing Charge Man into Pharaoh Man. Or, no, into Tomahawk Man. Just all these neat things that you can't do, but the game character can. <laughs> True. Wow, this is a filthy run, but somehow... Come on, clinch it, clinch it, clinch it! Woo! I did it! It came right to the wire, and I just spammed Electric Spark to get that last pip of health. I had two hits left! Another um, boss down! 
Woo! Alright, next up. I love that I got this far and I'm just like, where do I go next? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm laser focused on my weakness chain. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, they didn't they weren't able to uh, translate Boomer Kawanger properly in the US, which means people are like, the hell is a Kawanger? When it's actually <laughs> It's supposed to be like some subset of a uh, beetle, because the Japanese are big on uh, collecting and quote unquote fighting beetles. Oh, so like Kawagamon. It's a more... yeah. So I think it's like based off of a stag beetle. Yeah. Because the two beetles I know most are the Hercules beetle, which has that one long horn, and then the stag beetle that has the big pincer horns. Which, unrelated, but beetles are one of my favorite animals. They're just cool. You know, it still feels weird to just refer to a beetle as an animal to me. I know that's what it is, but it's just like... Well, I would say insect, but there are millions and millions of insects. I know there are millions of classifications of animal as well, but... It feels like the smaller comparison than to just compare it to other insects. Okay. And now I am under the sea. Life Whew. is not sweet here and I don't got the bee here, okay? Fair enough. Ah! Double tap on controller, I hate that. I wish I could disable that. And now I'm losing time because I'm getting knocked around. Well, one good thing about not having the uh, arm cannon upgrade is that I don't have to fiddle around with the uh, ice platform. I just come back here with Boomer Kawanger's weapon. What do you mean? Like, I don't know if I should say it's intended or not, but the charge shot for the shotgun ice makes a penguin platform that you can ride. And the idea is that you make the platform, let it uh, roll off of the edge, and then dash back to jump onto the platform with the heart container. Ah. That's how I used to always do it. And believe me, it is really finicky. I never did that on the first try. There were actually parts where I tried to do that trick and ran out of shotgun ice, so I had to either farm energy capsules or exit the level and come back. He almost got that off on me. And Boomer Kawanger is down. Spark Mantra will still get shafted harder by his weapon, but Boomer Kawanger is a close second. And then there's Sting Chameleon. He Using his weakness against him is hilarious if you get the rhythm down. Now the scope? question is, uh-huh? I, I don't... What's his weakness again? Uh, the uh, boomerang shot. If I can do it right, what it is is when he hangs off the ceiling with his tongue to shake spikes loose, you hit him with the boomerang, he'll jump all down and then go to the other side to try to do it again, and you just lock him into that by hitting him on the return trip. So boomerang left, boomerang right, repeat until dead. Ah, right. Heart tank it. 
Nice. Going for the body armor. I only have the legs at this point. I wish I had the helmet. But that comes next. Easing the boss with proximity. Oh, he jumped. The proximity trick ain't gonna work. Okay, he's back where he needs to be. No, stop jumping! I can't cheese you if you're gonna jump to me! Okay, that works. You take a lot of damage. Yes, yes it does. Okay, it looks like he... You don't get more damage by using charge shots against him, because I'm just pelting him with lemons now and getting a lot more traction out of it. But the thing is, I mean, I don't know the difference. I, I used a bit of both. You eat a lot of damage, sir. There we go. Oh, jeez. I just just had a random thought, but uh, since he was uh, defending the light capsule, I wonder if he's what happened to Otto after Thomas built X. I have heard that theory before. Let me out. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, I can... I can do this. Get the headroom. And... Yoosh! I don't want to talk about how close that battle with Launch Octopus was. Hey, it was probably as close as mine, if not closer. I have one point left. Congratulations, you beat me. <laughs> I had two. <laughs> I can't wait to see the uh, comparison between our launch octopi. Oh no, I, it was ugly. I went in there with half HP though. Ah. Uh, I think I had full HP. But yeah, it was ugly at the end. I panic used uh, Electric Spark to finish him. Ride armor! So, when you enter the, uh, boss arenas, do you jump, do you dash, or you just I, walk I, through? I'm dash, I'm dash. <laughs> I dash. I am speed. Yep. Let's see if I can cheese him. Yep, I cheesed him so hard. <laughs> Next up, Storm Eagle. So, Flame Mammoth is, my, is the last on my weakness order. You're already on the last one. No, I'm on the next to last. 
Storm Eagle this time. Oh yeah! If I had an actual VTuber model, you would see me headbanging right now. Don't you have a VTuber? I have a PNG tuber. Insert GIF of our of Art Man headbanging here. No note to self, low commission. <laughs> <laughs> and I died. Thankfully it was at the beginning. I mean, oh no. My good <laughs> friend, oh no. How how could you do such a blunder! By not paying attention to the physics of these platforms. Oh, you, you need to ah, be no, more no, let careful, Let me go, let me go, buddy. let me go! <laughs> Yeet! And now to do that climb all over again, because of the heart. Like, yeah, I I don't think I was mistaken. I, I was second-guessing myself for a second there, but I don't think I was mistaken in putting Storm Eagle's theme as number one. Because Terminal Montage did a whole animation about somebody else's remix of the song, and so, it is so good. So feel justified. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm correct in saying that, yeah, Storm Eagle's number one. So you feel justified? No. Correct. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, I, I feel correct in my own head, because I, I second-guess myself way too often. I guess, yeah, justified would be a word for it. But it's like, I'm justified to myself. Well, that that's all that means, dude. <laughs> Don't know oh, okay. what get. Um, oh yeah, uh, s small trivia fact about uh, Storm Eagle's level. Back when I first played it, I always thought that the uh, danger canisters that you could blow up had to be blown up with the uh, with Flame Mammoth's weapon. No, you can just pound on it with the Mega Buster, that'll work. You can? Yeah. This is the part where people will go back in the video and watch me do exactly that. <laughs> well, I mean, you went to Storm Eagle first. Oh, yeah? I'm just saying, child me thought you needed Flame Mammoth's weapon to get past them. I mean, it does have the big flammable thing on it, so it makes sense why. I know what I'm going to do, but do you count uh, getting the regular X Buster as 100%, or does Zero Buster count in your in the rule set? I mean, I don't know. You do need the Hadouken, so yeah. I, I guess you can you can get the Zero One if you want. No, on principle, I always get the full X Armor before I hit Sigma stage. How? That was pathetic! <laughs> I went to dash jump onto the platforms leading out towards Storm Eagle's ship, and I missed the first one by a pixel. Oh no, Art Man, what? How? Oh, that's awful, my dude. Oh no, 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 don't say it so. <laughs> Sorry, the, the truth was coming out. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm roasting myself here. <laughs> ba -ba 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 Boom! Hello, Storm Eagle. If I wasn't raising Q, I'd probably have gone to you first to try to beat you without the dash boots. Oh. 
Hardest boss in the game, take him down. Yep. Storm Eagle down. And now we're falling out of the sky. Yeah! <laughs> oh god, did I remember to do this? Now Flame Mammoth. Yeah, I think the first time I ever tried to beat Storm Eagle without the boots is also the first time I discovered that there was a difference between Flame Mammoth stage normally and if you beat Chill Penguin first. Ah, right. The power adage. What other ones are there? I know there's the flooding of, uh, of, uh, Sting, Sting Chameleon stage. Alright, so there's the power outage, the flood, the factory freezing over. Uh, what else is there? Come on! Oh, nope! Ah, dang it. I messed up on the arm, I'll have to come back for it. But, uh, let's see, so power outage, flooding, iced over. I could swear there was another one but it's not coming to me. I think those are the only three. I'll have to double check later. Like cross-reference a message board or something. Sounds about right. Also, X1 has some of the most disrespectful enemies in the game. They're the, uh... There's the flying pink mechs that, uh, laugh at you when they run into you. Oh, and yeah. then the miners in this stage that do the same thing if they hit you with a pick. We need more enemies like that, to be honest, though. Yeah. It does add some flavor to the game. Out of all the weapons in the game, I think my favorite for so far as feel is the Storm Tornado. Oh yeah, that one, that's a, that's a good one. I like that and the Flamethrower. See if I can get the, get the tech with the Boomerang Cutter. I did it! Flame Mammoth has no nose! I find it funny that Flame Mammoth's weakness is a Storm Tornado. Because you know what high velocity winds does to fire, right? Spreads it, especially oil fires. <laughs> yes! So it's just funny that they went process of elimination, wind beats fire. I, I just like love I... the idea of it too, where it's just like, hooray Mega Man! You did it! You created more fire! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so first I'm gonna go back to Chill Penguin for the heart tank. And 
I've got two sub tanks. Trying to remember which ones I've gotten. I need one in Spartan Mandrill. Where was the other sub tank? Come on, brain. Oh, right! I didn't get the one in Armored Armadillo stage. I think I'm gonna go for the arm cannon next because I do not want to go back to armored armadillo stage without charged rolling shield. Just all the bats. Yeah. up the heart container and boomer kawanger. I'll get that with the boomerang. I think I messed up. Uh, uh, I, was what looking for, I was looking for a grind spot in uh, in this stage and I was just like, oh wait, I missed it. I missed my favorite grind spot. So I'm actually gonna replay the whole stage just to get to it again. Oh dear. No, it's fine. But I do. We do need the sub tanks full. Oh, oh, goodness! All right, good to know. Thank you. Almost got crushed during the elevator platform, but iframe saved me. I think I've got full hearts. Uh, spark Mandrill for the easy eat, uh, sub tank. far enough? I hope it does. There we go. I just had to jump for it. Now, round two of getting the arm upgrade. I 
want Coot Knob! Darn it. Messed up. Yep, I fell off. Take three. This is where I'm gonna get all my time sunk. Hey, you could be unlucky like me and just not getting any of those health drops. Same thing happened again! Mega Man, get up there! There we go! Darn, that was giving me a lot of time. <laughs> Oh, that's four. That's four. You don't need to show me the, the thing, game. I know what it does. Back to Armored Armadillo to complete everything. I don't think the nine lives are important for the Hadouken, it just helps. Yep. on it, I don't think that the uh, unique bat and armor armadillo stage gives higher chances of it, of one-ups. I think that's the only thing coded for it to drop. Hey, maybe. but the bats are being stingy with the health drops now. Yeah, that's what I was dealing with. Three sub tanks full, just gotta get the last one and fill it up.
Thanks for all the little tiny pips. I'll be glad you're getting any, really. <laughs> yeah. That chime. Got it. All four. Got the Hadouken? Hard part. Yeah, now it's time for the hard part. Alright, working on the Hadouken now. You know, just beating the game. Sounds like we're just about neck and neck. No, I'm, I'm definitely wet way ahead. <laughs> and I prematurely died there. Hopefully that thing stays dead. No, it doesn't. mess up any steps here. We'll see. I got it. Nice. Oh, I love that little sound bite. Now, let's see if I can make up lost ground. Man, I'm so focused on the game right now that I'm just like, no, I can't lose, no matter what. I'm just like, dude, it's just, it's just a game. Why is my dash button not working? Mm -hmm. 
things like this is why I have my controller inputs on the bottom of my screen. So people can see I am not just saying, oh, controller issues. But also controller issues. You gotta own up to them someday. Man, I wish I wish I was good at Mega Man games. <laughs> charged or no I don't need to charge it good come on punch me harder <laughs> come on vile Punch me like you mean it. Really? Okay, you had to man. put me right there? <laughs> Now let's see if I can nail the Hadouken. I do wish you luck on nailing the Hadouken. Because I did. I did! Oh, nice. <laughs> Off screen, too. The ultimate disrespect. <laughs> That definitely saved you some time. I jumped off a cliff because I forgot there was a cliff in this stage. I'm so good at Mega Man, guys. Meanwhile, I had to eat a few hits because my invincibility ran out. Dodging my attack! Well, that's embarrassing. I should probably just put down the controller now. Nah, no, keep going. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah, but I failed to Hadouk and Chill Penguin. Well, then go with his actual weakness. I know. But it's still just like... That was the e that was gonna be the easiest Hadouken target. I got the Hadouken and I'm gonna be using it on like no one because I suck. <laughs> be fair, this is a I owned Street Fighter 2 as a kid. I could not do the Hadouken as a kid in either game. I know the weakness of Core Spider, but I'm gonna try to cheese him. Hadouken? 
Ah, I fired it too early. And I fired that one too late. Ah! Took away my Hadoken. Well, we're doing this the shotgun way. If I could find shotgun ice, why is it the last dang weapon? Dance in the dance with the big old spider. I killed a bird. Nice. Just a big old bird hit it with a newspaper. more shots and it should be over. Oh my gosh, I forget all the weaknesses of this thing. Wow. I actually got a double... <laughs> I actually, the boss hit me when I killed it. I mean, I still uh, won, but... Right, can, I, can, I, can I ask for some strats? Uh, who are you on? The, the face. Uh, Chameleon Sting. Really? Yep. That sucks. Nope, 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 nope. The bats knocked me off the platform and I failed to recover. Telling me the strat. <laughs> You're welcome. The fact that I remember most of these weapon weaknesses at all is amazing because I usually have terrible memory. But that's just how much of an impact this game has left on me. Oh my god, Magmanic's so good. Storm Eagle, round two. Or rather, second verse, same as the first. Thank you. 
<laughs> I thought the next boss would be frightening, but no. It's just the hardest boss in all of Mega Man. D-Rex. Spark Mandrill. Oh. Ha ha ha. Just think one wrong move and I could have died. <laughs> Which is why I didn't move at all. The eye got me. The fa the face's eye? Yeah. Dang. Like I was jumping on the wall to avoid falling in the spikes and the red eye opened underneath me. To be fair, I should have seen it coming. I mean, you really should be more careful meanwhile I get further ahead. <laughs> what do you think about that, slow man advanced? <laughs> uh, I'll get, but I'll catch up to you. Mm hmm. That's what he says for now. But little does he know, I'm perfect at playing this and please don't shoot me- OH GOD! I mean, <laughs> little does he know, I'm inching forward. Stop making me target the nose, I want to destroy the eyes! Also, I actually know the name of the face boss. It is so weird. I remember I remember it having a name. What was it again? Rangda Bangda. I don't know why, but I thought the name was Wombo Bombo. <laughs> <laughs> so just like, you know, I was actually kinda close. Okay. I beat it. It's funny, I knew D Rex's name before I knew Ranga Banga's name, and the only reason I knew Ranga Banga is because of Maverick Hunter. Actually, D Rex doesn't even appear in that game, now that I'm remembering. He doesn't? Yeah, you don't fight D Rex in uh, Maverick Hunter X. You fight. I think you fight Vile again? I don't know. I just. I, I don't remember. I might be misremembering. It's been ages since I played the game. Alright, who's here? Yep. I had to use uh, an e uh, a sub tank to fight uh, D Rex, so I was too low on health. Uh, did you find out what his we uh, weakness was? Oh, I knew it. It was the boomer boomerang weapon, right? Yeah. The only reason Armored Armadillo can hit me with his shots is because of their weird velocity. It's like they're not fast, but they're not slow either. At this good mix up speed. Get off of me.
Alright, who is next? Ah, Sting Chameleon. Ready for a second help in a cheddar? Enjoy your craft. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try to beat Spark Mandrel with Hadouken. Go for it. I hit him with a regular buster shot and it rendered him immune to the Hadoken. <laughs> Curse you iframes. I wonder what that's like. It just happened to me too. <laughs> One of y'all fish want to give me some health, that would be really helpful. I could try the Hadouken against Launch Octopus. And they're not going to give me any health. Oh, Why there's would, some. Why would they? They love their boss. You think the fish get good benefits? Mm hmm. I feel like they would make really good pool floaties, though. Well, he uh, blocked my first Hadouken with a missile, and then I just whiffed my second Hadouken, and then he dealt one pip of damage to me. No Hadouken. Thing is, I'm tearing him up with the Buster. Also, I'm starting to think, out of everything I'm remembering about the Mega Man franchise, like all the media, I'm starting to think Launch Octopus might have been a favorite. You know, I don't know. It's mostly because he actually has any lore. Uh, right. Yeah, he has. He has lore, like uh, Storm Eagle does too. But it's like, but yeah, Launch Octopus has known lore. Uh, he's the only. Maverick that has an animation that taunts you before your fight. He appears in the PlayStation 3's opening for Mega Man X3. So again, starting to think there was some bias for Launch Octopus there. Oh, absolutely. Woo! Woo! That's uh, me making fun of Flame Mammoth while he switches the uh, platforms. Ah, the blow! Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> you get to keep your trunk this time. And D-Rex. You beat Sigma already? 
we're supposed to hit the timer when he's blowing up, right? Yeah, that works, but... Okay. Wow, you already beaten him? Yeah. Dang. Oh, good am job. speed magic over machine wins once again. <laughs> well, let's see how long it takes me to beat the game after you. Yeah, I mean, you, you, did, just, you, did, just, you did just do it, so I'm not... I'm just enjoying the credits at this point. Alright. I played sloppily. I assume you played sloppily. Maybe my route was just better. Maybe. So maybe weakness order isn't always the best option. Then again, I lost a lot of time trying to get this damn arm upgrade. Yeah, I lost a lot of time uh, <laughs> grinding for help. For help. I mean, remember how I said there was a... Uh, like, I used a uh, tank against, what was his name, B-Rex? D-Rex, yeah. Um, I used a tank. I actually spent the time to grind more health, just in case I needed it. And I, I wasn't able to uh, Hadouken Vile. I wasn't able to... You know when I said... Uh, when, when you said you weren't able to Hadouken some because the original shot hit him first? Yeah, that happened with you and Vile. No, that happened with me and the and the dog. Ah, I just so went I with shotgun nice on Friender. Yeah, but I mean, you could if you Hadouken it. That's like real good time right there because it takes me forever to kill that thing. Also, I found out about uh, Sigma's weakness in X1 because of the Xtreme game on Game Boy. Oh? Uh, phase 1 is weak to uh, Electric Spark, Phase 2 is weak to Rolling Shield. Yeah, but how did the Extreme versions tell you that? Because I played... it had the uh, Rolling Shield and it wasn't beat for beat, but it basically the last boss was X1. It was, yeah, it was uh, Beam Sword Sigma and then Face Sigma. Alright, now the hard part. Just over half health going into this fight. Oh god, why does he hit so hard? I'm kind of just being a little quiet because of your concentration. Ah, uh, uh, come on! What, did you die without using one of your sub-tanks? I had two- I used two sub-tanks. He killed me right before I could kill him. Oh, uh, you- you got greedy! I had- I had hit pause right before the lightning struck, but apparently it gave him a priority. You got greedy. Heartman Greed Vanced over here. Oh man, that's the, don't don't. <laughs> Why do people watch this? All right, just restocking my health. I know I could have done it in three, so I need at least three. That's one. Oops. Come on, give me more health. I 
Actually, I think I'm willing to give you about ten minutes. Knowing what I know about yeah. Frender, I think I can get a Hadouken off on him. Yeah, I think I can beat this in ten minutes. It's the last stretch that's the hardest part. Because he deals so much frickin' damage! Are we gonna monologue? Yeah, monologue. Got him. Nice. Yeah, there's one behavior... So to... Yeah, I'm back to Sigma 2. I'm just saying, there's one thing I learned about Frender while playing Mega Man X. He always starts a fight by jumping over you and then back to position 1. Let's see if I can do the same with Beam Sigma. Yes! I got the Hadouken on Beam Sigma! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was so worried it didn't go off, but yes! But the real question is, how are you going to do against the final Sigma? Let's see. You can't Hadouken that one? Oh, uh, nope. I just tried and it didn't work. No, you can't Hadouken that one. There we go. I missed. How could I miss? He was three feet in front of me. Let me up. Two more hits. Two more hits. Come on, you can do it. Ah! <laughs> he killed me with the flamethrower. Did you heal? Did, did you have heal? I had one heal. You could have, dude. Why? <sighs> Round three. Doing the grind of shame. But hey, given uh given my recording for this a few months back, maybe a year back, I'm actually beating my personal best by a fair margin. <laughs> you could be beating it by more of a margin if you knew what you were doing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're 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 solid, man. Yeah, you're right though. I was getting greedy. I was trying to hold on to the heel for as long as possible. He just dealt way more damage than I could sustain. Oh yeah, you 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 underestimated his power. He had the high ground. Yes, the damn high ground. I, I'm legitimately salty about that last one because the RNG was like, no, I'm never gonna let you get up here. I'm not gonna lie, RNG was beautiful to me. It let me get up there so often. Nice. I think he used his flamethrower attack like three times total. Let's see. Okay, I'm all full up. 
the X Buster, ready Hadouken. Alright, get the monologue out of the way. Hadouken the dog. Ah! I've got to use a spark now. I'm not healing for another shot at Hadoken. I need all my health for the final fight. Yeah, I, I, I'm not I'm not telling you to do that. You got this? Yep. And done. Nice. Hit that timer. I did, as soon as he started exploding. Okay, so now that that's done, we can begin our talk. So, I had a very enjoyable time. Mm-hmm, I did too. What about you? That was good. <laughs> it, hey, this might actually get me to consider... Uh, and I'm not saying religiously, but it might make me start speedrunning the game, try to actually get a good time. Right now my personal best on screen is 1 hour, 32 minutes, 47 seconds. I definitely am not uh, going to be speedrunning this game. Uh, it It's definitely not my thing uh, to, to speedrun a game. I do enjoy the occasional casual playthrough, though. Um, but that being said, I wouldn't mind trying to do another Mega Man game sometime, maybe X4. Yeah. Because we both love that one a lot. Yeah, we do. Um, but yeah, we, we mostly made this so we can create some content for, uh, the Tricks of the Trade group channel. And I hope it turns out well, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Yep. Out of all the constants in the world, death, taxes, and the glory of Mega Man X. A couple more con constants than that, but regardless, <laughs> I think this is a good place to wrap up. 
This has been your host, Kazaa Rospo. And your co-host, Artman Advanced. Well, we're both co-hosts, technically, but whatever. Hope to see you in the next video or live stream. And signing out. Until later.